software testing guides and interview questions. SELZ interview questions. What is SELZ? SELC Software Development Life Cycle is the process of developing software through business needs, analysis, design, implementation, release and maintenance. What is STLZ? The process of testing software in a well-planned and systematic way is known as Software Testing Life Cycle STLZ. Different organizations have different phases in STLC however generic software test life cycle STLC consists of the following phases. 1. Test planning. 2. Test design. 3. Test execution. 4. Evaluating the exit criteria. 5. Test closure. What is the difference between SELZ and STLZ? Software development life cycle involves the complete verification and validation of a process or a project. Whereas software testing life cycle involves only validation. Software development life cycle involves business requirement specifications, analysis, design, software requirement specifications, Development process coding and application development, testing process preparation of test plan, preparation of test cases, testing, bug reporting, test logs and test reports, release and maintenance. Whereas software testing life cycle involves preparation of test plan, preparation of test cases, test execution, bug reporting and tracking. Re and regression testing and test closure. SDLZ is a part of SCLZ. What is waterfall model? Waterfall model is one of the most widely used software development process. It is also called as linear sequential model. It is widely used in the commercial development projects. In this model, we move to next phase or step after getting input from previous phase. Like in the waterfall, water flows down to from the upper steps. What are the advantages of waterfall model? 1. Simple and easy to use. 2. Easy to manage due to the rigidity of the model each phase has specific deliverables and a review process. 3. Phases are processed and completed one at a time. 4. Works well for smaller projects where requirements are very well understood. What are the disadvantages of waterfall model? 1. No working software is produced until late during the life cycle. 2. High amount of risk and uncertainty. 3. Poor model for complex and object-oriented projects. 4. Poor model for long and ongoing projects. 5. Poor model where requirements are at a moderate to high risk of changing. What is V model? A framework to describe the software development life cycle activities from requirements specification to maintenance. The V model illustrates how testing activities can be integrated into each phase of the software development life cycle. What are the advantages of V model? Tester role will take place in the requirement phase itself multiple stages of testing available so that defects multiplication can be reduced. Can be used for any type of requirements. Due to multiple stages of testing and multiple teams involvement quality can be improved.
The V model supports wide range of development methodology such as structured and object-oriented systems development. The V model supports tailoring. What are the disadvantages of V model? It is an expensive model than waterfall model, needs lot of resources, budget and time. Coordination and maintenance are difficult. Adoption of changes in requirements and adding new requirements at middle of the process are difficult. It needs an established process for proper implementation. What is prototype model? It begins with requirements gathering. Developers and customers meet and define the overall objectives of the software. Developers prepare design documents using all available requirements then build the prototypes. Prototypes are sent to customers and customer evaluates prototypes and gives feedback. Developers redefine requirements, modify software design and produce modified prototypes. Process will be continued like this. After getting customers confirmation developers start regular process, software design, coding or implementation, testing, release and maintenance. The objective of this approach is getting clear, complete and correct requirements from customers in order to avoid defects multiplication. What are the advantages of prototype model? The customer does not need to wait long as in the linear model or waterfall model. Feedback from customer is received periodically and the changes do not come as a last-minute surprise. Customer's interaction improves the quality as well as success rate. What are the disadvantages of prototype model? It is an expensive approach and time-taking process when it's compared to sequential models like waterfall model. Customer could believe the prototype as the working version. Developer also could make the implementation compromises. Once requirements finalize then adopting changes in requirements and adding new requirements are difficult. What is Scrum methodology in Agile software development? There are different methodologies which are a part of the Agile model. The most famous one is Scrum methodology. Like all the other Agile computer programming, Scrum is also an iterative and incremental methodology. This methodology is different than the other methodologies because the idea of empirical process control was introduced in this process. As a matter of fact, Scrum was introduced for software project management. However, it was eventually also used for software maintenance. The best part of the Scrum methodology is that it makes use of real-world progress of a project, which is used for planning and scheduling releases. The entire computer software project is divided into small parts known as sprints. The duration of sprint can range from one week to three weeks. At the end of the duration of the sprint, the team members along with the stakeholders meet. This meeting helps in assessing the progress of the project and chalk out the further plan of action. This assessment helps in taking stock of the current state of affairs and rework the line of work and complete the project on time and not just speculate or predict the further outcome. What Spiral Model? The Spiral Life Cycle Model is a type of iterative software development model which is generally implemented in high-risk projects. It was first proposed by Broom. In this system development method, we combine the features of both Waterfall Model and Prototype Model. In Spiral Model we can arrange all the activities in the form of a spiral What is Requirements Gathering Phase in SVLZ? Explain it. 
This is an initial stage in SVLZ. In this stage business analyst category people gather requirements from the customer and document them. The document called BR's Business Requirements Specification or CR's Customer Requirements Specification or URS User Requirements Specification or PR e Product Requirements Specification or BDD Business Design Document. Note Document name may vary from one company to another but process is same. In software application development BAL category people gather requirements from a specific customer. In software product development BAL category people gather requirements from model customers in the market. What is BRs in software development? BRs is business requirement specification which means the client who want to make the application gives the specification to software development organization and then the organization convert it to SRS software requirement specification as per the need of the software. What is SRS in software development? Software Requirements Specification SRS is a perfect detailed description of the behavior of the system to be developed. SRS document is an agreement between the developer and the customer covering the functional and non-functional requirements of the software to be developed. SRS document consists of two sub-documents I System Requirements Specification II Functional Requirements Specification SRS can be derived from PR's document and it is technical document. What is HLD or Global Design? High level design gives the overall system design in terms of functional architecture and database design. It designs the overall architecture of the entire system from main module to all sub module. What is doctrine flaws or detailed design? Low-level design The view of the application developed during the high-level design is broken down into modules and programs. Logic design is done for every program and then documented as program specifications. For every program, the unit test plan is created. Explain about the software release process. PM Project Manager forms Release Team. Release Team consists of a few developers, testers, project management executive, and system administrator. Release Team goes to customer place and deploys software. Release Team provides some training to the customer site people if required. Explain about the software maintenance process. PM Project Manager forms maintenance team. Maintenance team consists of a few developers, testers, and project management executive. CCB receives customer change requests and perform required changes. Maintenance is three types. One. Modifications Corrective Changes Enhancements 2. Migration Migrating from old technology to new technology Example, Windows 98 to Vista or Windows 7 meters less access to SQL Server or Oracle. 3. Retirement Retiring the old system and developing new system Example, Two-tier application to web application.